Hello and welcome to this lecture in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skills Series. This is the first video in the Creating and Managing Your Accounts section and it's going to be a short lecture on the different types of account that are available in the IBM Cloud. Okay, so these are the names of the different uh, account types in IBM Cloud. So we have Light, Pay As You Go or Pay Go and then a subscription account. So let's go into each of those in a bit more detail. So the Light account is the most basic account but it still has lots to offer. This is a totally free account, you don't need to pay any charges, you don't even need to provide any credit card details to use it. It's really designed for when you're starting out, so exploring services, maybe doing small, um, small scale proof of concept projects, or perhaps just very light development work. The main thing to remember with this account is that you can only use light services, and then only create one instance of that light service at a time. But having said that, there are loads to choose from and use. Also, you only have one Cloud Foundry organisation as space, and we'll come on to explain Cloud Foundry in a later lecture as well, uh, which is in a single region. So remember, this is a great account for starting out, and of course you can upgrade it at any time. So here's a bit more detail on the things to note with a light account. So I've already mentioned that the account is free and never expires, and the one organisation and one re region restriction. Some of the other things that you get are free basic support, so if you're stuck or need help, you can raise tickets or ask questions in various forums and so on. Um, though please note that um, on the basic support tier, your tickets are worked on uh, on an as and when basis. So IBM Cloud does have other paid for support tiers, but, and I'll talk about those in the following video. Um, so you get up to uh, 256 megabytes of free runtime memory for Cloud Foundry apps in a light account. So again, that's enough to run a few small services and test them out. And you can create one instance at a time of a service with a light plan from the IBM Cloud catalog. So a couple of other things to note with light plans is that if is that uh, uh, there is no development activity in a service for 10 consecutive days and it will put to sleep automatically. And if there is no development act activity for 30 consecutive days, then that service is automatically deleted. So you do get email warnings beforehand, uh, but I've seen people getting caught out by this, so take note. Um, if you want your services to live on, then uh, you must either do some uh, development activity at least every nine days to avoid them going to sleep, um, or upgrade it to a PayGo account. Okay, so to get a PayGo account, all you need to do is add your credit card details into the console, and I'll show you where to do that in the following lab. When you add a card, uh, IBM does some credit checks, and normally your PayGo account will be active within a few minutes. Um, if you get problems having uh, your card accepted, then you should contact IBM Cloud Support. So once you have a PayGo account, you get access to all the services, so that's all plans. And that includes free plans that are not available with a light account. So you can also create services around the globe, so you can create truly global applications. You still get access to all the light services too, and you're also eligible for free tier allowances that are available on certain other services and plans too. So you can actually still work for free in a PayGo account, as long as you don't go over those allowances which are quite generous and they're ideal for development and testing. Once you cross those free tier limits though, you will start to get billed, but you only ever get billed for what you use, and you can see the different billing rates in the catalogue before you provision a service. You get billed monthly, and each month all of those free allowances are also reset. So PayGo accounts are really flexible. Again, if you're doing a bit more than just finding out about IBM Cloud, this is probably the account for you. You can work in it for free of charge, um, if you use light services or stay below free tier limits, but again, you only pay for what you use. And as a bit of an incentive to sign up, you do get a promotional credit of 200 um, US dollars uh, to use in your account for the first 30 days, but check the terms and conditions on this when you sign up. So the third account type is of course a subscription account, and this is really for established users who have production services or are in development but have a large monthly spend. And um, I've heard figures of around about um, 1,000 US dollars per month mentioned as the point at which a subscription account becomes the best value option. And uh, you can upgrade to one of these from either a Light or PayGo account using, uh, or rather uh, by contacting IBM Cloud Sales. So with the description you commit to a minimum monthly spend uh, and you then get a discount applied to that amount. So when setting up a subscription you typically look at your likely monthly expenditure and work from that number. So the subscription discount is applied to that amount you spend each month. If you spend more than the subscription amount, amount, then those overages are charged at the non-discount rate. Of course, with a subscription account, you'll get full accesses to all services in all regions too, um, and, and that's as well as, you know, obviously light services and, and, and also the free tiers. 
So here's a table, so on the next slide, here's a table showing all the different account types and comparisons between them. I'm not going to this, but if you want to study the table, feel free to pause the video at this point. So one more thing to say about accounts, and that is that you can, of course, work in other people's accounts and have people work in yours. And you do this by either being invited or inviting other users to do so. So this means that you can have a light personal account, but actually do the bulk of your work in, say, your employer's pay goal subscription account. I'll explain more about this and show you how to invite users to your account in a later lab. OK, so that's it for this lecture. Next up, we've got a lab, and that's where I'll show you how to create your IBM Cloud account.